Anna Marie Tindler's cryptic post appeared to throw shade at ex John Mulaney just days after he welcomed a baby with Olivia Munn. John Mulaney's ex seemingly shaded the actor shortly after news broke that he had welcomed his first child, a baby boy, with Olivia Munn. The 41-year-old actress gave birth to a baby boy on November 24 with boyfriend Jean, 39, who she started dating earlier this year. The couple's exciting news came on December 17, nearly a month after the baby was born. Two days after the announcement, the comedian's ex, Anna Marie Tindler, seemingly shaded her ex-husband of six years. The Connecticut native, 36, took to Instagram on December 19 and shared a photo of herself sitting in front of a mirror wearing a long, flowing gown. Norman fucking Rockwell, the artist captioned the snapshot which fans noted was likely in reference to a Lana Del Rey song. Anna's cryptic caption could be referencing the title of Lana Del Rey's sixth studio album, where the title song includes the lyrics, Goddamn, man child. You have fed me so good that I almost thought I loved you. Anna looked somber as she posed in a room at the iconic Madonna Inn. Her hair was styled stick straight and it was parted down the center. Related Gallery Stars who split from their loves in quarantine, Megan Fox, Mary Kay Tolson, Ashley Benson, and more. Fans flocked to the comments section of her latest post to show their support for her. It's just what they do sis, one fan commented. Lana Del Rey reference? Okay. One responded. Another added, sometimes what didn't work out for you, worked out for you. Anna took to social media after John secretly welcomed a baby boy with his girlfriend last month. Olivia gave birth just six months after the couple were first linked in May. The newsroom star and John got together shortly after it was reported that the comedian and former Saturday Night Live writer was divorcing his wife of almost seven years in May. John officially filed for divorce in July after the first pictures of Olivia and John out on a date in Los Angeles came out in June.